Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen, IGM release a video. Yay. Why I'm talking about, because it's gameplay from... Breaking Point, probably the technical test. Didn't watch, let's watch this shit show, let's hope then... Some of my fucking fears go out, probably not, I don't know. I still stand for my thing. 60% of me think this game gonna be shitty, 40% gonna think this game is thinking this game gonna be meh at best. So yeah, that's it ladies and gentlemen, let's go for the video. Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen, so we got the first quote-unquote gameplay, probably was from the technical demo, they made it. And... So here, what do we have? IGM first, so please don't copyright me. Link probably gonna be in the description to see. So, Panther, Panther maybe? No, oh, I think Fury Panther Nomad, probably a Celt or something. What do we have on the HUD right now? Full Auto. I think you're seeing my cursor. Silencer. Zoom and probably under barrel attachment. Let's go for it. How's it going, everyone? Tom March from IGN here with a look at early Ghost Recon. Uh, this is a gun. Interesting. Con breakpoint. Let's see if I can play. get another. Oh, okay. That's kind of. Good. The quality of this is fucking disgusting. Let's try to utilize it better. Okay, that's better. And since I'm gonna re I'm recording after, that's gonna be shitty on your end. We have a vector, and we have another weapon here, and a sidearm, I think. So, out of my all my worries, we still go. We can tick that out. So maybe we can have two primary weapons. Maybe this is gonna be like the division, and you have to spend a perk point to unlock or something like that. But I don't know. And here we can see three classes. So interesting. So this is Penter. This is sharpshooter. I want to know if these two classes are. Can we say without a trace? No. There is no like indication to the class name. Let's hope they say the class name they are using, but I doubt it. Lee is is a squad of four moving in to take down a wolf camp. That's one of the camps, the bases that the wolves, which are these rogues, back up. Yeah, we cannot see what is this class, but this is the guy who are, we are using two classes off. So maybe engineer. Do you have weapons or assault? I want to see his second weapon. Just see if it's SMG or just in his cell rifle. Cop soldiers hunting you throughout the game use as a, a little base of operations. Now, in this camp, that means that there's going to be a lot higher level guys. There's going to be stronger wolves that you're fighting within it. And also a glimpse at these, these flying drones. These things are very strong, very deadly. As you can see, they're very, very fast as well. Let me go back to that clip a little bit. Now, let's uh, they let the video play, and I'm going to do that. priority to take them down like that. There's also these uh, car drones, which are being taken out by the sniper here, along with some, well... Silencer. So, now let's just go out of the way and think something. Remember back in the day... Uh, Division 2, the way you would use your signature skill was by utilizing, by clicking both of the skill, doing both of the skill press. Uh, I don't think you can see that much well, because I'm doing from a YouTube video, but on the class here, you have the RBLB press and something going up. I may think then this is like special ability so this is what will for nomad and fixed 
going to be the thing who will allow you to use the rocket launcher. This sharpshooter is going to be the f ammunition. And to the panther going to give you the smoke screen. So, out of that point, a negative. So, overall, positive and a negative. And something that we, not, we need to talk after the end. Placed headshots. And these camps are very fortified, so you have to take out this sort of first line of defense. You can see the, the ghosts are actually up on a, a hill, a little bit more of a looking down, up higher ground perspective, taking out these initial guys before they move in to... So sniper and an LMG, an SMG here. They're out. The, the stragglers and the... the, the... Assault rifle and shotgun. Wave of reinforcements that shows up as well. Uh, there are a lot of these drones, as you can see. They just took out another one of those car drones. Uh, it's a lot of these wolf camps are very, very fortified. These towers as well, raining down rockets and the like. And the the goal of a wolf camp mission like this is to clear everyone out. And once you have done that and you've cleared out all the stragglers and all the reinforcements, then you will complete the mission and uh, secure the camp. Uh, that's something that I don't kind of enjoy. Currency, currency, ammunition, okay, and bandage. Uh, I literally forgot what I'm going to say. If you want to see even more from Ghost Recon Breakpoint, be sure to check out our other IGN. Oh, great. Uh, what I was talking about, and I remember, uh, so, to do this mission... Remember what he said, you're going to have to kill everyone in the base, kill the reinforcements. Good luck doing that as a single player. Let me go back to that. I want to see a little bit of you. Is that the wolves, which are these rogue spec op soldiers, hunting you throughout the game, use... A Strain... We cannot... See, like the Camps change bases that the wolves, which are these rogue spec op soldiers. No, here we we see. Uh, he's using like his mid division two skill. The uh, the rocket launcher. It's here. It's on LB. So maybe the rocket launcher will be a gadget or some sort of it. Fighting within it, and also a glimpse at these these flying drones. These things are very strong, very deadly, as you can see, they're very, very fast. I don't like the cut from it. I really don't. I wish I could see how many bullets it would take to kill that fucking drone. Because that's a thing. I can understand the fact that human enemies are not going to be bullet sponge, but drones, in other hand? That's the thing. You cannot headshot a drone. And since the game is... Very, very reliable. I don't know what the game is going to be reliable on single person. Because you're not going to have the full class system to work around. Because you will be a one person. The stealth is okay. But as the guy said, you're going to have to clear this mission entirely. Fast as well. Uh, they dodge around you. And it's kind of a priority to take them down like that. There's also these uh, car drones which are being taken out. We can kind of... Do a little bit. Does it show how many? Okay, so one sniper shot is able to take like uh, this would be half, a little bit less than a quarter of the health of this drone. This is gonna have weak points like armor, then we're gonna have to peel down. Oh, this is interesting. It seems that he is on his special bullets too. Like that. There's also these, uh, cars. Yeah, look at that. So. Let me go back here. Being on full gold kind of mean it's active for the sharpshooter. Since the sharpshooter utilizes, like, the special ammunition. That. There's also these... One shots take a third of the bar. So we know that we're going to have three of the special bullets. The car drones, which are being taken out by the sniper. Exactly. See? You have three shots of the sniper, so this is your ability. And now we know what is the ability for the sharpshooter. Press the two keys, get a fucking bajillion damage weapon. I want to have a, a very interesting question here. 
probably just because, well, he already had it activated, but... I don't know, maybe that's that's a point to see after. That doesn't quite matter right now. But yeah, we see how those special ammunition work. Sadly, we don't see the Panther one active. We're here, along with some well-placed headshots, and these camps are very fortified, so you have to take out this sort of first line of defense. Interesting that his ability seems to be on a full cooldown, or something like that. So maybe the heavy weapons or something like that will be something of a you can i don't know let's think i don't want something like you can take more damage because that sounds garbage so you can see the, the ghosts are actually up on a, a hill a little bit more of a looking down up higher ground perspective i don't see him active before, let's move turn in. down your volume that's the thing, I don't see him activating, and I'm not seeing this. Oh, that's more important. Here we are seeing. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, shit. Uh, let's, uh, let's utilize the magic of playback speed. Let's turn a little bit down. And let's go back here. No, oh, uh, I want on you. Wow, I kind of got it. So yeah, same stuff. Equipped shotgun, one, so... Probably, that's gonna be the thing. If they are going to more an XP or a stuff value thing, it's gonna be the same from the division. You have a perk, you have to unlock to get the second one. So, a positive and a negative... The thing is, I'm not seeing they change those gadgets, and that kind of makes me a little bit afraid. I want to see more about it. Interesting that her ability is on cooldown, so we probably would see if we see the entire mission. That's the thing. Is this the smoke screen? The smoke bomb? Or this is just a generic flashbang. Or a generic smoke bomb. It's not a flashbang. Uh, if this is just a generic one, it starts to get me afraid again on the... Some people can only use one thing. Some types of things, but... If not, mm, I don't know. Okay, that's the part that I need to take full listen. So let's listen this together. This is to clear everyone out. A wolf camp mission like this, hours as well, raining down rockets and the like. And the the goal of a wolf camp mission like this is to clear everyone out. And once you have done that and you've cleared out all the stragglers and all the reinforcements, then you. I know. I w let's listen. Will complete the mission and uh, secure the camp. I don't like this, because if you're playing sol solo, you're gonna be get fucked and overwhelmed very quickly. Again, the ne showing again the necessity of a fucking AI team, but whatever. I wanna see something that I notice. ...like this is to clear everyone out, and once you have done that and you've cleared out all the stragglers and all... This is a level? Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, these are levels. So... Mm, hmm. Level caps, huh? I don't know how to feel about this. For the human player, for the human enemies, I'm okay from the drones. Yeah, we can see it in this state. Like, I know, it's not taking an entire mag to kill that drone. She kill on... Very deadly, as you can see, they're very, very fast as well. Uh, they dodge around you, and it's kind of a priority to take. This is what is like editing trick. Let's see. And also a glimpse at the 
use these flying drones. These things are very strong, very deadly, as you can see, they're very, very... So she gave like two or three shots, the health of the fucking thing is what, and what? It's like, uh, I'm going to say it stands to here, so it's a little bit more than a half. But let's be on, let's be more reasonable. Let's say then the only the health only extends to the radical here, to the point of the radical. So it she takes like a third of the health. Deadly, as you can see, they're very very fast as well. Uh, they dot. Can I see how much mag she had on when she was shooting? That's one thing. <laughs> That's how we can decide. <laughs> she stops on sh shooting on 17. Let's say then she missed a fuck ton of shots because she did and she was like bouncing between both of the targets. Holy shit, I'm overanalyzing the gameplay, uh, IGN gameplay of 1 minute and 54 seconds over a period of how the fuck long. But okay, let's keep going. 17 bullets on the mag. Strong, very deadly, as you can see. They're very. No, she ends. Uh, again, let's turn to speed down. God damn, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, what the f what the fuck I'm doing with my life? Very deadly. As you oh, nine. So it's not edge. It's not magic very, editing. Very fast. As well, uh, they dodge around you, and it's kind of a priority to take them down. It kind of takes a little bit than a half of a mag or something, like 20 bullets, and it's an SMG on long range, so it can give like a little bit of a break. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's just stop this because I already overanalyzed a fucking 1 minute and 40. And 54 minute long second long video. <laughs> the fact is, positive, yeah, we will be able to get a different, more than two, two weapons. Like, they're not gonna lift straight up. Second, we know ish how the rock, the, the fact that the rocket launcher is not a uh a weapon but a gadget which kind of points out to the fact that get there will be class exclusive gadgets second we notice there is division two st division one style of abilities and by division one style of abilities i mean the way you activate by for example on as we see with the sniper you press the LB and RB and the fucking thing activate so we already know mostly how it works so we have a positive we have a negative and I'm still over the fence about the drones and I'm gonna place two negatives because I don't know about this level of stuff I don't know how that will affect like the balance on the game itself for example how fuck I will be if I decide to take, like, level 1, take a level whatever 100 camp. Because we cannot see their levels. That's an interesting fact. The other fact that I can kind of place in a way is, like, wolves being level 70 onward and PMC below that. But I don't know. You know, that's the re that's how you see that I'm trying to like this game. Simply because I'm trying to make excuse for this fucking thing to work. And I was so fucking excited the fact that I see that I can equip three two weapon primary weapons over just one. God damn, what the fuck is going on with my life? Now, uh to finish up the video is one positive, one over the fence, and two negative. The positive yeah, you can still take the loadout, like, carry two weapons. Although, place an asterisk here, we still don't fully know if weapons will be a free-for-all or if we will need to change. 
like if there will be like a free for all all weapons where every class can equip every weapon or it's just a some classes will be have some lenience about some weapons now last after that we go for defense the health of the enemies mostly the drone ones still up for debate we see like a flying drone needs to take like a 10 or 12 smg bullets but we can kind of give it a break since it was from a far away and there may be a couple shots and we think was a hit but was a miss last and in fact then we saw the damage of a special bullet quote unquote from this sharpshooter now the negatives wolf camp missions on the single player are going to be probably a nightmare because well as the developer said find friends or suffer but again that's bullshit uh you have to survive these waves of enemies and i don't know how can you be since you have to destroy the towers mm, i don't know but that's really put me down and still the fact that there is more there will be not just like for example uh if the rock the launcher was the rb and lb tree ability for the heavy weapons i would be okay would it probably go for a positive or an, a neutral over it but since it's a gadget a gadget shows on the negative side because there will be more than just special abilities and perks there will be full gadgets that only can only be used by the by certain classes point in case the rocket launcher is a gadget in the end of this so yeah ladies and gentlemen on this lovely image of a drone car tank getting shot by a sniper with his special bullets and blowing up we're gonna end this video and get ready for e3 because tomorrow we're going to start that shit show and remember tomorrow is ea a couple minutes of reasonable gameplay and a lot of bathroom breaks well ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this was the video if you enjoy leave it a like if you didn't, leave a dislike. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. And if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe. And see you guys on the next episode.